check out this machine behind me here. Andy, uh, you're from DTS in the UK. You sell the Courier machines in the UK. You must be very proud, firstly, to do that. But secondly, what a bit of kit this is. Tell us about it. So this is a bridge-type machine, Fox machine, and um, it is the most successful out of the whole family for Korea, the Fox machine. But why is that though? Because we've been to several companies. In fact, you've got customers here this week that we've been to, Manufax and various others that we've been to with these machines. Why are they popular? So the reason they're very popular for is, what they're renowned for is flexibility, accuracy, reliability. And you, you will see when in a bridge type machine that the technology that the, is offered in this type machine is very, very high at a very commercially attractive Right. That's the technology I want to get into though really because what's important about having a machine of, of this size is it the fact that you can remove significant volumes of material is it the accuracy from one end of the table to the other what are the features that people really need? One of, one of the hardest things to get in a bridge type machine is roughing and finishing in the same machine and the Fox offers that so it can be a very heavy roughing machine but then it can also do high accuracy and finishing with the same head or do you have to change the head? You, you, can, you can have a head changer then. So what will happen is you can change from the UAD head, very rigid, and then move to a E5E head, very much similar to what you see on the machine there for five axis machining. Okay, now with so much engineering here, how do you keep it all cool and keep everything in geometric tolerance and all the rest of it? What features have you got that do that? So, some, of the, some of the things there in the RAM, so the RAM has water jacket, jackets that go down the side. They are cooled with water. Um, and then also the head is also cooled as well and temperature controlled. And then something which is uh, very unique, and it's all about these machines fitting within the workshop. And it is about keeping the accuracy of the point of tool to a RAM extended, say, 1.75 meters. So what you will see at the top of the RAM is some fans where they take the air from the workshop force it into the RAM, and then that then is to stabilise the RAM to the workshop environment. Is that all done mechanically, or is that all done in you know some compensation element in the control? A lot of it mechanically, a very small part electronically through the control. What about your columns here as well? Do you, don't you have concrete in the, in, the, in the columns? And if so, what's good about that? So in the columns, the columns are concrete filled with metallic fibres, and the metallic fibres then add dampening capacity because as I mentioned before, with a roughing machine, it needs to be very dampened and very stiff. Okay, and what about my foundations here when I put this in? A, how much preparation do I need to, to do? Because there's a, co a significant cost in the machine, and I'm not saying that it's not uh, cost effective, but what else goes into it to be able to install one? So, so something like this, you will see it's a very large machine, but the foundation is, is suited to the the main construction, which you will see, it looks very much like a crucifix, where the columns go and the table goes. So something like this could be, maybe it's around about one metre deep. And what about the actual movement of this table, moving it backwards and forwards? Because I, I always think about things like wear and speed and all that sort of stuff. How do you, how do you get that? So on, on a Fox machine in the X-axis, it is a double rack and pinion motor. So not a ball screw, so there's no deflection or bend or anything. It is um, very, very accurate. It gives longer longevity to the machine, um, which you don't need to use scales and things like that for. Okay, um, how quickly can people get these machines from you, Andy? And I mean, because, you know, uh, there's, there's, a, there's obviously a, a waiting period. We see them all going through build here, but you still deliver them pretty quickly, I believe, don't you? We do. So at, at the moment in the UK, there's, uh, there's another five machines on the way to the UK at the moment. You will see in the shop, the shop is very busy, but you will also see because they control all the elements themselves, they have the ability to, to make quick decisions then. You bring customers here like you have this week, they can't be anything but impressed. I bet that helps you cement, talking about concrete, cement orders, doesn't it? Absolutely, I mean, it, it, the workshop is fantastic. Um, and the machines the machines on show, there's not many facilities where you'll see eight metre vertical uh, boring type machines and um, lots of bridge type machines. Not many, Not many facilities have that.